are you today? Today I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas ornament earrings. These are the ornaments that you can hang in your tree, but these are for in your ears. I uh, made this tutorial because it's very easy to make, it's very last minute. So if you uh, didn't uh, make any Christmas jewelry yet and you're like, oh, I didn't have time uh, to make something big, then you can maybe just make something small. And that is uh, where this um, tutorial is all about. So uh, you can make this uh, with almost anything. I'm going to explain it further because you don't really need the same size as uh, of the beads that I use. But if you have two bulky beads and you have something nice to do on the top, then you can make this here. So let's start. So the materials you will need. You will need pliers. I have a cutting plier, a round nose plier and a flat nose plier. You will need one uh, 6mm or other size that you have um, round L. You will need two ear hooks. You will need two rings. You will need two head pins. And you will need two beads size uh, 12, so 12 millimeter or larger. It is really just what you have and what you can combine. Uh, you can make this as fancy as you want. Uh, I'm just using these cheap uh, glass pearls um, that I uh, got at the local store. So you can just use anything you, uh, you have. So let's start. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take your eye pin. Oh, your head pin, sorry, not an eye pin, head pin. You're going to slide on your bead. You're going to put on your, uh, your uh, rondelle. And then you're going to take your uh, cutting pliers. You're going to cut uh, about one centimeter above uh, your work. You're going to take your round nose pliers. And then you're going to make a loop and I'm going to zoom in to show you how I do this. If you have a one step looper, this of course is that better and then you can just uh, uh, use that one. But if you don't have a one step looper, you're just going to take like the larger part of your um, round nose plier and you're just going to, so I'm grabbing it like this and I'm just going to turn it until I have a loop. And that looks like this. And then I'm just going to hold the loop and I'm just going to do it like this. If you have a better way, of course, do it like that. I'm just going to hold the loop, put my uh, finger behind it and then uh, pull it back a little because uh, the wire um, or the head pin I use is flexible enough for that. And then I'm just going to adjust my loop so that it is closed. So I hope you can see that. Um, just make a loop and really it doesn't really matter how you do this but I, I just show you a way I, I do this it really doesn't matter because nobody is going to notice if you have a little bit cricket loop because this is going to be in your um, uh, your roundel okay you're going to open uh, your loop and you're going to grab it on two sides with the opening in the middle and then you're just going to twist you're not going to pull you're going to twist then you're going to hook it on um, your uh, loop and then you're going to hook your earring clasp on that and then you're just going to close it up. Make sure that it's uh, good and close because you don't want to, uh, come this to come apart. And there you have, sorry for the hair, and there you have your earring. Well, that's all there is to it. This is one of the quick and easy tutorials, the last minute tutorials. If you don't have any Christmas jewelry and you really want some or you didn't count on it and you have a, a surprise Christmas party, you can just make these and uh, then you look Christmassy. So I hope you liked this tutorial and we'll see you next time. Bye. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.